Hi there, welcome to a day in product review. I'm Monte Cristo and let's jump right in. So today we're looking at the uh, first aid backpack with oxygen unit. It's a really versatile unit and really something nice on the go um, when you need it out at a dive site. It's not ideal for the heavy duty kind of uh, emergency gear out on the boat and things, but it's ideal for around pools or when you need something easily accessible. So let's jump right in. First of all, the bag's nice. Um, it's got some nice straps that you can adjust so anybody can really fit into it. It's got a waist strap which is quite nice and also a nice handle to, to carry the bag if you need to. You got these little reflectors here so they're pretty cool and then on each side you also can carry the unit like that which is nice. If you prefer doing sort of a slingshot around um, uh, across your body you can do that and you can easily unclip it and adjust the strap. Now in the front you can also see nice reflective tape and uh, you've got a nice uh, clip here to keep everything in place. So let's jump right in. Alright. Now let me just see ya. Okay, first of all, you can see that the, the unit's nice and compact. It's one of the smaller cylinders, and that's why I'm saying it's not all that great for the heavy duty kind of emergency gear when you're far out to sea, but around a pool or water side, this is great. And it's ideal for any dive professionals, even dive shops, resorts, uh, but definitely for the private diver, this is a great unit. So first of all, we've got some of the loose units. This is the uh, demand valve. Um, We'll connect everything up. We got the hose. Just put the one side for now. Uh, we got the uh, multifunction regulator, uh, basically with a T handle to fasten it onto the valve. Uh, it's got a dial on the side for the free flow. Uh, you got your SPG gauge, uh, your free flow bob, and uh, your disc outlet ports. So let's put that one side. Then uh, it also comes with a, a number of uh, hoses. Uh, oh, sorry, masks. So these are the non-rebreather masks, basically the mask with a bag on. These are ideal for divers that can't necessarily tolerate the on-demand um, oxygen flow. Or if you have two divers, you'll give the more serious diver uh, that has an injury the on-demand on system. And then the, um, uh, the buddy or the person that has less of an injury or, or problem, you'll uh, provide them uh, oxygen on the non-rebreather -re mask. You also get some gloves, obviously very important to keep uh, clean around oxygen, especially 100% oxygen. Then we have the small cylinder, you can see um, inside you've got two straps there to fasten it in so it doesn't uh, fall around or fall out. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's it, you can see small cylinder. This cylinder, depending on how many people you have on uh, the unit, or uh, if you got it on free flow, what uh, flow rate you have, but you're looking at around 14 to 20 minute max. So again, not ideal for those long boat rides, uh, something that's really accessible around a pool, a water side, or any other place that's not too far from um, emergency, uh, advanced emergency care. Anyways, it's a pin index uh, cylinder, as you can see. We'll put that one side. Uh, let me just lie this down. Okay, great. And then we also have in here, which is really great, the first aid kit. So it's a nice uh, combined unit that provides you with oxygen plus your uh, first aid equipment. And um, I'm just not going to go through everything, but uh, as we open this up, you've got a nice range of first aid kits. Uh, it comes with instructions, so um, you can deal with CPR, burns, uh, even got uh, um, a tourniquet in here, some wounds, so you've got your bandaging. So it's a really nice gear, uh, kit all around. Uh, for resuscitation or for even using the uh, demand system, we got the um, uh, oronasal resuscitation mask, so that's uh, also pretty nice. And inside here, um, we've added a whole range of things. So, uh, yeah, is this a, uh, uh, 
a face barrier or mask. You basically open up and it's got the sort of plastic sheeting with a non uh, one-way valve on to do CPR as well. You get your uh, sort of range of uh, stickers. So if you have a boat or somebody close by, a box, you can put this on to indicate that you've got oxygen. And then just the, the general Dan um, uh, stickers with the hotline numbers on. And this is just a hand wheel wrench to uh, fit on top of the uh, cylinder valve so that you can open and close the cylinder. All right, this generally, um, you'll fit onto the uh, regulator like this. So that's pretty good. Um, general sort of uh, demand valve and regulate uh, paperwork that comes with it and these are really handy these are the damn first aid uh, course slats so anything from first aid to oxygen uh, administration neurological assessments uh, hazardous marine life these slats have it all so they're really nice reference slats they're waterproof so this is a great addition so all around I think this is a really uh, great kit to have um, uh, when you need it around sort of poolside areas or uh, quarries and things like that. So I'm just going to put this one side and just give you a quick rundown on how to assemble the, the unit. So you've got your regulator, you'll obviously open the T-handle and um, there we've got two little pins and there's an oxygen washer inside there. Now on the valve itself you've got two little uh, uh, openings there which the pins fit into. So we'll just uh, undo the uh, T-handle, slide it in nicely and it's important not to over tighten um, the T-handle, just finger tights more than enough. Alright, so then generally we got the O's and we'll just untangle it, make sure it's nice and straight and um, I generally like to put the O's on the, uh, on the front uh, port. Now it's important to note that uh, before you assemble this unit uh, to ensure that um, or uh, don't pressurize the unit while you assemble it otherwise you'll lose oxygen through the hose. sorry about that so we first want to assemble everything and then pressurize the system all right so we just screw that in in there and again just finger tight now the nice part of this little uh, hand wheel wrench is it comes with a little wrench part there not to tighten this onto the, uh, the, the demand valve or the oxyg uh, reg oxygen regulator but to uh, undo it if it's a bit stuck and you can see that it is plastic um, so that you can't damage um, uh, the hose uh, ends. So alright, so that actually I forgot to just undo it, uh, uh, tie it onto the T-handle the so that goes there and now that uh, that's all connected one can take out your um, or a nasal resuscitation mask and you'll just undo that and you'll simply pop it on there use your hand wheel wrench and open the unit and before you actually supply um, an injured diver with oxygen you first want to test it so you lie the unit down take a breath and then you'll blow out away from the moss. You don't want to contaminate it before you actually pass it on to um, the injured diver. So that's the first aid backpack with oxygen unit. Um, it's a really great versatile unit on the go. So check it out on the danshop.co.za. Until the next product review.